and welcome to the Gamer's Table Independent Edition. Today we are reviewing Wild Guns. It's not a bad game. I enjoy it a little bit. You know, it's not a bad filler. Wild Guns is an action packed game for two or more players. Two. Each player takes on the role of a gunslinger from the Old West competing in the Dodge City Gunfight Contest. Yeah, the, we have the base game, which is only for two players. There are expansions that allow you to bring more players into the game. Uh, not much to say about Wild Guns. It's a two-player game. Uh, Wild West, shoot them up. Gunslinger stand in front of you. You're standing in front of them. Draw. You just shoot until the one's down, and then and another one steps up to take their place, and you shoot them down too. So you got three different decks of cards. You got your gunslingers. You got your guns, and then you got your run, which is <laughs> you got your runs. <laughs> your runs. <laughs> Me to run, I don't want to call them maybe dodges or something. <laughs> I got my run. I got the runs. And run and gun. Of the two players, each player will select four out of the ten gunslingers, which is obviously why it's only a two-player game because there only are only ten. And they will be dealt six run and six gun cards. And they put the four gunslingers they, out they in front of them. Four. They put the four gunslingers out on, in front of the order that they're going to play, senor. <laughs> you just kind of line them up and shoot them down. Yeah, that's pretty much what this uh, game is. Uh, you put your gun cards and your run cards down for each character, and and then you roll the dice and it, and you see who shoots first. Kind of random because it's sort of well, I shoot at the left. If he happened to put down the left, he's okay. If he didn't put something down that'll block from the left, I got him. Now I got to roll some dice and see how much him or if I even hit him. So not only did he have a chance to dodge me, even after he didn't dodge me, I still have the possibility that I didn't hit him at all. So what's your gun card? That's it. What's and your gun card? My you gun card is dance for me. Roll three dice. Does five damage on top of that. If hit, ignore opponent's run card. Unless run card avoids dance for me. Well, I play jump. And jump avoid damage from dance for me. So he just missed me. Oh, so I don't get to roll my three dice. Well, that's two there, but three, yes. So now, that's pretty much the game right there. And then he does his gun card, and I do my run card. Yeah. Assuming, and when you roll the dice, you look at your actual character, and it actually has a number of the uh, what he hits on. And there's one that's actually bolded a bit, and that's the crack shot. And you have the health. It's really small text on these cards, by the way. Too small. The health, you have your regular bullet, and then your crack shot. And the advantage of the crack shot is you get to re-roll that die again and possibly get another hit on top of that. Not a lot to it, but uh, the artwork's nice on it. Uh, they put some thought into the game, but uh, I would have seen a little, maybe a little bit more depth to it. Some of these cards really only have one or two sentences of text on them. There's the, the odd the odd one like uh, Gun Disarm Left where it's got a bit more, but still, even that could be enlarged to make it easier to read. But gun generally, the artwork's nice on these yeah, cards. Yeah, the gunslingers nice are pencil all drawings. pencil drawings done by the guy. They're not high art or anything, but they're probably the quality that you would have seen on old Wanted posters. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a little limited at first. Uh, not a whole lot of player interaction, just... You draw a card and it's like, whoa. Or do you play, reveal your cards and, oh, I guess I got hit. And then you roll the dice and maybe maybe you still don't hit. But it's a simple two-player game. Should wrap it up. So, yeah. once again, wrapping up. I give Wild Guns a 4.5. It's a, it's a good two-player game. Uh, there's a little bit of... <laughs> There's a little bit of mind games going on about uh, which card you might play. You might okay, maybe he's gonna try for a headshot or. But I mean, yeah, you, you got you got some you good bluff. varieties. You could try to go to Minda like, yeah, you can't hit my head or I don't know. Yeah, but bluffing. Yeah. But really, it's kind of a lot of guesswork. He plays a gun card. He play a run card. Let's just do a random one here. Groin shot. We all show right. right. Oh, that would have gotten I would have dodged the groin shot. I mean, that's pretty much it. You take a shot, I take a random, hope to dodge it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Not bad, you know, but not something I could see myself uh, playing a lot of. I'm going to give this one uh, a five. Really, a lot of it depends on your rolling, too. You know, how much you roll, you know, 
the if you're skilled at the rolling of the dice. dice. Well, even actually the numbers, it, it depends on the character card, or you know, that's what really matters there. Because uh, you'd need to roll those numbers on our cards. It doesn't matter whether you roll high or low. If you hit the highlighted number, that's bonus. You get to roll an extra die. So I, that, that's pretty handy. But, uh, you know, I don't mind the game. Uh, it looks nice. Uh, the text could be larger. You could maybe uh, change the the color or something like that. Uh, the gun and run cards on the back to differentiate the wording a little bit better. But uh, it's not too bad. But it's pretty much I play this and you play that and let's work out the happened. result. Yeah, let's <laughs> see what happened. It, that's pretty much the game right there. I'll give Wild Guns a six. It's the Gunslinger theme and it's there... Sort of. I mean, you've done the, the accuracy to pistols in the old list wasn't the greatest uh, at times, so I can understand some of the randomness to it. Um, easy to teach somebody how to play. Yeah, fun to play. It doesn't last that long. It's it's fairly quick. It's just the big thing for me is that artificially inflated numbers, having 110 health when you could have had a 22 and remember one point instead of remembering I took 15 and 10 and 15. So... Um, because of the random factor, and uh, and also definitely because of the wasted so much of the space on the card. I mean, there's a lot of air here that you could have filled up with, if nothing else, more flavor text. When you're going for a theme with all your art and everything, you should go with more flavor text. You know, the random factor is playing a really large part in the game. The characters are really nicely drawn. Uh, kudos on the artwork. Anyway. And that's oh. it. For Remember. another episode of the Gamer's Table Independent Edition. Tune in next Friday for we'll you another game. Six of each. Six of each. Yeah. Yeah. Six bullets, six cards. Yeah. Six sure. <coughs> hey ho! Hey lady! Yep. Yeah.